Iceland's Rake Janes Peninsula is on the verge of a significant volcanic era, expected to span several centuries as part of a long-standing geological cycle. Now forgive me as I butcher these words, but the peninsula, particularly the areas around Sunnakar and Grindavik, is experiencing increased volcanic activity, signalling the beginning of a new phase in Iceland's volcanic history. In 2021, a volcano erupted in this peninsula for the first time in roughly 800 years, heralding the onset of this new volcanic period. This event marks a continuation of a 1,000 year pattern of volcanic activity in the region, which scientists anticipate will lead to numerous eruptions over the coming centuries. Edward W. Marshall, a researcher at the University of Iceland, noted that the region is poised for a prolonged period of eruptions. The Rake Janes Peninsula has seen a surge in seismic activity since October, with Grindavik being evacuated in early November due to the threat of an imminent eruption. A significant magma tunnel extending 15 kilometers between Sunnakur and Grindavik has been identified by the Icelandic Met Office. This development, which includes the region around the Blue Lagoon, indicates a potential for a surface eruption given the high volume of magma moving towards the surface. The magma content in this tunnel is believed to be much greater than that of the 2021 eruptions. Clive Oppenheimer, a volcanology professor at the University of Cambridge, explains that the Rake Janes Peninsula undergoes inactive periods lasting 600 to 1200 years, followed by active phases of 200 to 500 years. The 2021 eruption signaled the start of such an active phase. The Rake Janes Peninsula's location, straddling two tectonic plates, contributes to this cycle. David Pyle, a volcanologist at the University of Oxford, notes that the eruptions relieve tectonic strain, with the current activity representing one of these release phases. While it's uncertain whether the magma tunnel will lead to an eruption, if it does, the event could last several weeks, potentially resulting in more extensive lava flow due to the larger magma volume compared to past eruptions in the area. The scientific community is closely monitoring the situation, with predictions suggesting that if an eruption does not occur within three weeks, the likelihood diminishes as the fractures begin to cool and close. So this is the news for today, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to be notified of when we release videos. And as always, thanks for watching.